Okay, hey guys, welcome back. Today we're taking a look at riff number 13 in my new series, 30 80s Metal Riffs in 30 Days. This is April, the whole month of April in 2023, doing one riff per day. And today's riff is from the glam metal band, Britney Fox. And these guys were definitely compared to Cinderella, um, kind of a spin-off of Cinderella. But uh, the song we're going to look at is from 1988, Girl School. And it's a fun song. The video was ridiculous, and it was fun at the same time. It's a lot of, I think, a lot of these kind of bands started coming around in the late 80s and kind of killed off the whole scene. But you have to admit, there's a certain amount of fun that comes along with this stuff. And the riff here we're taking a look at is, uh, will be tuned down a half step. So make sure and tune to E-flat if you want to play along. Um, nothing too difficult here. Uh, there's a lot of chugging on the A string. And I'll show you how this goes. Before we get going on the riff, make sure and check below for the tab in the description box. As well as my free sweep picking guide. Sweep picking boot camp. Alright, I'm don't. I'm pretty sure the guys at Brittany Fox weren't too worried about sweep picking. But uh, anyway... I digress. Let's take a look. So it opens up with the riff opens up with open string, low E, second fret, third fret. So and then it goes straight to an A power chord. Does that twice? Then does this. Then does this. So it's the same thing over and over. The only difference is how many times you play the A power chord. I'm not going to go through and count each one for you, but you can find this out on the tab. The best way to do it, I think, is to listen and play along, and you'll you'll uh, memorize it internally. That's what I'm doing. I'm definitely not counting these out. So one more time on the very the very uh, first part of this. <laughs> Okay, so the second part of the riff, you're going to play the A power chord. And then we're going to go to a D sus. And then to a D. And then we're going to lift off the index or index finger. And then put it back down. And actually we're playing from the fourth string to the first string. Like that. So we get. And then the last part is. Slight bend on the third fret, A string, A power chord, G note on the third fret, low E. So. And then back to the A power chord. Then we have this lick at the end. One guitar is playing that, and the other one's playing an octave lower. It's bend up on 15 on the B string, and then release it. Then play 13B, 14G, 13B, 14G. 
vibrato, and then this run. So I'm doing a hammer on from 12 to 14 on the G. Then 12 G, 14, 13, 12, 10 on the D. 10 on the G. And on the 12th fret of the A. And then the lower guitar, the lower octave is. So we're just gonna bend seven up, a whole step. Release it. Five G seven D. Five G seven D. And then we're gonna go five seven on the D string. Five on the D, and then seven six five three on the A. Three on the low E. And five. And actually, what happens is. They go to it. They start on the verse. It would actually be an uh, an A power chord there instead of the fifth fret. But I'm just showing the fifth fret because that's where we're ending the riff. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Pretty simple riff. Check down in the uh, description box to get the tab. You can follow along if you're having any trouble and grab that sweet picking guide on your way out as well. I'll see you next time for another riff in 3080s metal riffs in 30 days. Rock on.